Good morning. I am possible. Is it I'm possible or is it impossible? What do you think? Hello, Betty. Hello, Betty. Good morning, Betty. This is Coffee with Len. This is Len Mooney coming to you from my deck overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean, but most of you already know that. You know, it was Audrey Hepburn that made the, the famous quote that said, anything's possible. The word impossible means I'm possible. If you just take the word apart a little bit, put an apostrophe in there, I am possible. How many things were impossible before they were done? Can you imagine the cavemen? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back 100,000 years. Let's ask a caveman if a flying machine heavier than air is possible. Even in the early 1900s, before the Wright brothers actually flew, there were people, very knowledgeable people, who said a heavier than air flying machine is an impossibility. It can never be done. It was done. There was somebody who said, I believe it might have been the, even the president of IBM, but don't quote me, who said that computers, uh, well, you know, there's a world market for maybe two computers at most. Of course, that was back in the days when computers filled the whole room and took the equivalent of the Hoover Dam to power them. It was before transistors had been invented, before semiconductors were a reality. Actors talking? Why would anybody want to see an actor or hear an actor talk? <laughs> it was back in the days when actors were real actors because they didn't talk. They had to act. Their facial expressions, their emotions had to portray the entire content of what they wanted to, to convey. So, you know, the reality is, Tony, good morning, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning. So the reality is, if you look throughout history, everything was impossible until it was done. And there's, there's this, you know, the saying that we hear occasionally, and maybe we should hear it more often, is the person who says something's impossible should step aside so the person who's doing it can pass. Because the reality is, there's nothing impossible. There's only our imagination, only what we put between our ears, only what we believe to be true. If we believe it's true, it's true. Like Henry Ford said, the most famous saying, I think, that ever, whether you believe you can or be, believe you can't, you're right. It doesn't matter. It's what you believe is true, and you can make anything happen. So the question then is, for you today, is what's your impossibility? What is it that's holding you back from doing what you want to accomplish? What is it? that's there, that's saying, oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's not possible. Oh, maybe, I, you know, what is holding you back? And you know what? We each have our own little devils running around. I call them the monkey chatter in our ears. The monkey chatter. The monkeys are chattering. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. And you're going, well, what do you mean, no, I can't? Of course I can. you got to beat those monkeys down, throw them out, get rid of them, because the reality is, you can do anything you want to be. You can have, do, be anything you want. What is it that you want and what's holding you back? Because what's holding you back is a story that you're telling yourself. It might be the story your mom told you. Maybe a teacher told you. You know, I had a teacher in eighth grade call me out in front of the whole class and tell me I should never sing. I couldn't sing. Unfortunately, I carried that around with me for many, many years before I finally started to sing. And in the beginning, I would never sing in front of anybody else because I believed I couldn't sing. Well, I can sing. I can sing. Oh, I'm not ill by man, but you know, I, I can I can get away. I can get right. So so many the point is the point is this. So many times the thing that's that's holding us back is a story that somebody else told us when we were a, a kid, an infant, a child, a young adult. It, throughout our life growing up, people told us stories. But those stories were their opinion. And they were a self-reflection of them. They weren't you. They weren't about you. They were about them. They were about them making themselves feel superior by telling you what you couldn't do. Well, bull pucky. You can do anything you want. Each one of us can. It's all up here. Audrey Hepburn, thank you. Impossible means I'm possible.
And if you think something's impossible, step aside because someone's doing it. They'll pass you right by. Or better yet, jump on the train and do it with them. What's holding you back? What's your story? Let's get that story out from between your ears. Let's just pull it out of there. Let's shut them damn monkeys up and throw it away and shine. And I hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend. This is Len. This is <clears throat> Coffee with Len. It's a beautiful day out here. It's almost about to burn off completely. The blue sky up above everyone's in love. You remember that old song? Up the lazy river. How happy we can be. We'll talk to you in the morning. Remember, be compassion. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website, lenmooney.com. Lots of great information out there. Lots of good stuff. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. But anyway, Betty, I think my biggest challenge is time management. Let's talk about time. Let's talk about it maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll talk about that. It's an interesting idea. I'll give you a, a short version of my personal opinion. You can't manage time. You can only manage resources. You can only manage tasks. Time passes no matter what we do. So what we have to do is manage the resources that we have available to us and the tasks that we assign. Just one way of thinking about it. We'll talk again tomorrow. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.